one. So the look that I'm going for today, it is called Tattooed because I'm using Tattooed eyeshadow from Glamour Eyes. Look how pretty the color is. It's very nice. It kind of looks navy on the camera, but it's a pretty dark purple color. And I have that color on my eyelid. And I also used Amateur, which is a pretty turquoise color. It looks like this. And I also used Disco White, which the Disco White that I've been using in the past two tutorials, I think. So... Yeah, so this is what I, I came up with. Really like it. It's kind of summery, clubby um, colors and look. I would wear this to prom because it's very nice and your eyes will catch attention. So, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy it. And if you want to know how I created it, please keep on watching. So the first thing I want to do is, of course, apply primer. And just as like I yes, I do have mascara on because, you know, I was working this morning. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply a primer. This is e.l.f. Mineral um, Eyeshadow Primer, and I love this stuff a lot. So I'm just going to apply it all the way to the brow bone and a little bit to the lower lash line because I will be applying eyeshadows there as well. And I'm just going to blend that with my finger. So the first color that I took is called Tattooed and this is the color that is based on this tutorial and it looks like this. It's a pretty purple, I don't know why it shows like navy on the on the camera but it's a pretty dark purple and I just took, I started off very lightly. I applied that only on my eyelid as you can see and then I started to pack on the color and make it look more darker. So I'm just going to apply it with a shader brush like this one here. This is from the eco-friendly one and I love this brush a lot. So I'm just going to apply that on my eyelid. Now I will do another video showing you guys how to apply minerals because minerals could be a little bit harder than, you know, pressed eyeshadows. So if you guys are interesting, that's going to be an interesting video for most of you. So I'm just going to apply that on my eyelid. I'm going to start out very light as I said and then go ahead and pack the color on. Now when I have the pigmentation that I want, I'm just going to take any, any, any brush, it doesn't really need to be a specific brush, and I'm just going ahead and just blending the, where the crease is, just blending that, and just make sure that you don't bring it toward the tear duct, I mean toward the eyelid, just make sure that the color is blended on the top, not on the bottom. Just like this. Now I know the purple is not as opaque as you could see on this eye, but I will go ahead and make it more opaque when I apply the pretty turquoise color. Talking about the turquoise color, it's the time to apply it, and I'm using Amateur. It's also from Glamour Eyes, and it's a pretty, pretty, very pretty turquoise color. And I'm just going to start off with an angle brush which I'm using from the Annabelle ang Angle Brush. Any angle brush would work. It doesn't really need to be um, Annabelle or eco-friendly or anything like this. Just use what you have. And I first started off um, applying the minerals just like this. I didn't even spray MAC Fix Plus or anything like this. So if you want to go ahead and, and spray MAC Fix Plus, go ahead and do that. But um, I'm just not going to. I'm just going ahead... Um, applying it like this, loose mineral, um, and um, while I did this, I realized that I did have some fallout going on through my face. You can go ahead and apply like baby powders so you can catch the fallout, but the fallout doesn't really bother me because I have a fan brush and um, fan brush is made to use, you know, fallouts, take to take out fallouts and anything like that, so it doesn't really matter. So what I want to do is I want to concentrate it in the crease and I want to blend it all the way up to the brow bone just I have like here I just started right there and then I went ahead and I blended it 
upwards. So I'm sorry. I'm just going to draw the guideline because I don't want the I don't want the turquoise to be on the eyelid because I have the pretty tattooed colored right there. So I'm just going to start off outside, and then I'm just going to bring it inside toward the tear duct, as you can see. I know you can barely see the difference, but I already have the crease outlined. And now I'm just going to still be using the same brush. And I just want to go ahead and apply the color and blend. So when the turquoise is kind of the way the color and the pigmentation that you wanted, I'm just going ahead and I'm just going to deepen out the tattooed color which is the pretty purple that I have on my eyelid and I'm just taking the same brush that I blended with. It's kind of um, a very straight brush cut and it's very nice. This is, I think this is from Lancome if I'm not mistaken. So I'm just going to take that and just pat it on top of that color. So now I'm going to take a big eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to take um, Disco Ball, I mean Disco White from Glamour Eyes as well. And it's a pretty white with blue iridescence in it. Um, the blue iridescence really doesn't bother me at all. So I'm just taking it with a big fluffy eyeshadow brush and this is from Lancome. And I'm just going to apply that as um, a highlight color. And also I want to make sure that I blend it with the turquoise color. I just want to bring the turquoise color a little bit higher. And I just want to go ahead and apply my highlight color right on top. I'm just going to take the same eyeliner brush, like this one, and I'm just going to take that pretty immature color, the turquoise one again, and just I'm going to apply it on my lower lash line. I want to apply it halfway because I will be applying the tattooed on the rest of my eye. waterline I just took um, turquoise from wet and wild and I just applied that on my waterline so I'm just going ahead and applying my black liquid eyeliner and I'm using the elf um, waterproof eyeliner and I'm just going ahead and applying it on the upper lash line and then I'm just going to wing it just a little bit So I went ahead and applied my mascara and I applied false lashes on the upper lashes and I used the Ardell the 105 lashes which is my top favorite one from the Ardell. Going now for the contouring and all of this, I've been loving a lot the contouring blush and bronzer from e.l.f. They look like this. I will do another video because I did order some stuff from e.l.f. and I really want to show you them guys. So I'm just going to take the bronzer, the bronze color. And I'm just going to apply it on the apples of my cheeks. I mean, like, whoa, that was too much. Um, cheekbones right there. And I'm just going to blend it down. I already did it on this. The same brush. And I'm just going to apply it right there for just a hint of color.